Oh, he's on fire. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. I'm not only 2-5 and this is Agility Random Hordes. It's an agility build with random horde knights. What more do you want from me? A more creative title you say? Well, tough luck. We have probably got the horde knight tonight, I reckon. So we also have trade and restock on our hands. I am going to make it priority to visit both traders. See if they have anything a bit naughty, a bit special for us to buy. We picked up this compound crossbow yesterday. We've got four grand to our name. It's not a, not the best. It's not ideal, but you know, could be worse. Okay, trade is nearly open. Let's see if we've got anything to sell. I don't think we'll have much. Not even worth taking, but sure, we'll do it. There's the trader bell. Let's get over there. Ooh, two more sugar butts. Can't be bad. A uh, can of stock, five food, not worth it. Right, let's take this job, business burn. Uh, he's got a few cans of food and stuff. We can get them if we get desperate. Cobble is going to be very important. We'll pick that up. Oh, two sham chowder, very good. A meat stew, wonderful. And nothing else, really. All right, nice one. Let's pop that meat stew. That's a good start. Let's run over to the other trader quickly. He is to the north. Let's mark him on the map. Straight line in this direction. Let's go. You stupid rabbit. Oh, there's a wolf and a zombie going at it over there. Let's take on the winners, eh? It looks like the wolf won that exchange. And we won that one. Happy days. That was a freebie. Alright, a couple of shams. Another sugar burnt, large beef ration. And sure, we'll pick up the coffee. Let's just eat these quickly. Ooh. That's a good reward, isn't it? The hunting knife. Right, what have you got? Uh, he's got electric fence posts. It's not what we need, though. We have them already. We already have an AK. He's got a motorcycle chassis. We'll have to remember he's got. He's got this job to the south, which should be in our town anyway. Yep, so we've got two jobs in our town now. That's good. Right, now we need to run back. It is Horde tonight. I was right about that. So let's head back, make sure the Horde defense is okay, and maybe we'll have time to do one of these quests. You know, there's a random loot drop. I do like it when we find these. Hey, good stuff. And we got a skill point there, didn't we? We can go Agility 7 and Deep Cuts 4. Now tell me, so the Bone Knife has better melee damage and stamina cost. So this Hunting Knife is effectively useless and I might as well stick with the Bone Knife as well, that means. But what does it take to make a Hunting Knife? Quality 5. Forged Iron, Wood, Leather, Duct Tape. We can make that when we go home. A Quality 5 one. Let's just quickly wrench these workstations. We've already looted them. Cool. All right, here we go. All right, we need six duct tape. And we're short four forged iron. We have that right here. Craft me one of them. Thank you very much. Uh, let's just quickly make some repair kits. We're going to need them. Okay, so we have a fair few cobble blocks. Let's just make like 20 flagstone blocks. We shouldn't need too much more than that. And some people have made some suggestions. So let's make, I don't know. Yeah, like five campfires here. And let's grab our hammer so we can actually upgrade some things. Oh, here's our hunting knife, so please be better. Yeah, so it's got six more power attack damage, two more melee, I'm sold. Oh, there we go, that's nice to get an upgrade. Get rid of the awful wood there and we'll make that symmetrical. Gonna need this walkway to be cobbled up. Okay, so some people have said to try putting some campfires kind of dotted around the place and I thought maybe that sounds like a pretty cool idea. So we just do maybe, maybe a few like that, maybe one right at the bottom. And they've also suggested putting some blocks in for them to have to jump over, which I've never done before, but I'm open to trying it. And maybe another one there. And then they'll stand here and hopefully get pummeled by me. Put a decent amount of wood in these. Yeah, that'll be fine. We can send them off after the horde. And I think that's all I'm doing to it this time out. We'll see how we get on with that. See if uh, this messes things up or whatever. I'm curious to see. Let's just make a quick storage chest and chuck it anywhere. Throw some of the stuff we don't immediately need. Cool. This is the only problem. This uh, 
campfire stops me being able to get in properly. And, uh, hope it doesn't put off the zombies, but we'll see. So yeah, 1420. Have we got time to go and do a quest? I certainly hope so. Business burns just over here. Let's try and go and do it. Test out the new hunting knife. Well, he is a lucky first customer to try it out on. Oh, wow. Two shot. That's a big improvement. Okay, well, I've accidentally come over to this airdrop. Just following the marker absentmindedly. Uh, stone sledgy. We don't need that. We don't need that. And we can eat two of these. And the other one will sell. Okay. All right, then. Uh, luckily, the quest is just over here, though, so I didn't run too far, of course. Let's see if we can get this done and get back in time for the horde. Might be a bit close, but we'll give it a bloody good go. All right. It's the O'Malley Oats, I think. Yep, let's get into it. All right, we've got Edgar right off the bat. Wow, he's a tank. Uh, we've got a vending machine there. We also have a construction worker. Okay, good. Let's just buy the food. Um, I would love to stay and get all this cement and stuff, but sadly, we do not have the time. Come on, big mama. Come on. Come on, businessman. I know you're in here. Okay, I'm not going to get that wall safe either. I'm going to push on. All right, let's get down here. Okay, well, he's having difficulty. Okay. We need a head pop here. This may be a wandering horde coming in, you know. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. But we want to get down, I think. All right, here they are. Look at this. Talk about timing. All right, I can't leave the bounds either. Pre-horde horde. Absolute classic. All right, hunting life is feeling good. Now, before we were so rudely interrupted. Ooh, quality six shovel. Don't mind if I do. Disgusting vulture. And a burning dude, there he is. So up and around here. It's a feral white. What the hell? Oh, that was lucky, we got a head pop. Why the hell are they dropping a feral white on me? A game stage 24. <laughs> That was terrifying. And I think we're wearing quality fours already, yeah. Uh, we'll take the splint. And we'll take all that stuff. Let's just throw that weighted head onto our shovel there. And let's see if we can't make it back in time. Alright, this way. Run. We got a coffee? Yeah, give me that stamina regen. Right, we're going to remove this quest marker, just so I don't run to it. We have made it back with time to spare, which is good. Despite the game throwing a wandering horde and a feral white at me. Alright, we made it back. Alright, weapons. Give me the spare pistol, give him the AK. Ammo. Give it all to me. And give me my pipe bombs and... Molotovs. Yeah, that seems like a good setup to me. We haven't got any good gun mods, but that's fine. Ah, now Mike. He said to check these panels because there's some good loot under there. Let's have a look. Oh, well, there's a medical pile. Can't be bad. Any other secret panels? Nope. But yeah, thank you for the heads up about the secret loot. I appreciate it. Alright, let's get out here. Let's turn on our little fires. Let's see what this does, if anything. Alright, now we wait. Alright, bring on the horde. Alright, that seems to be working. It's slowing them down. Kind of what we want. We might be able to get away with a little bit of melee. Oh, he's on fire. I wonder how long I can melee for. Okay, that seems to be about the limit. Okay, the fire's working nicely. Oh, beautiful.
Yeah, so I'm very happy with the way this is working. Uh, if this slows them down, it kind of breaks up the horde a little bit. And the fire is actually doing a little bit of damage to them as well. Which is something I've never really considered, you know, implementing campfires as part of your horde defense as a trap. But it does work, you know, early game quite well, doesn't it? Let's grab this. Ooh, they were agility goggles. That's gonna make some tough decisions for me. Right, let's use the AK. Yeah, so game stage 25, or game stage not only T5, as I like to say, it's definitely a huge step up from one we had just a few days ago. There's a ton more zombies. And therefore, a ton more XP for me. So what this does is it makes melee a much more viable option. The only issue is stamina at the moment, otherwise I could uh, take this hold on all night. If I had coffee going on, ergonomic grip, full deep cuts and sexual tyrannosaurus, I reckon I could melee this hold. That's a lot of ifs though, isn't it? Okay, it's gone kind of quiet. I can hear some more zombies out there. Let's turn these off. Okay, here comes Steve. Down he goes. The chump. I think we've beaten the horde. That was a lot chunkier than last time, wasn't it? Alright, well, we've got the campfires ready to go for next time as well, so that's good. Quickly grab these loot bags. Absolutely useless. Nothing really worthwhile there, but yeah, um, happy with the new additions to the horde base. Failing electric fence posts, I guess the campfires are the next best thing we have. So let's head back over to the crafting base, chuck some stuff away, and then it'll probably be time to finish. So I've decided I'm not going to be carrying around the blunder anymore because I haven't used it in ages. I will just roll with the pistol, I think. And we'll put the Molotovs in their place in case we find ourselves in an overwhelming situation. I think that's a good plan. We've also got rid of the ammo from here, thrown away the chili that's been hanging around. So we're a lot more streamlined, ready to go for next time now. There isn't much time left here, to be honest. Probably just got enough time to maybe just do a little bit of digging up of clay here, just so we're doing something productive until the morning bell. And there we go time to finish the episode so just want to say thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you enjoyed the uh, strange horde night we just had if you did enjoy it do let me know by leaving a like down below and if you do want to see more content from this channel why not subscribe today thank you so much have a good one and i will catch you in the next one bye bye <laughs>